No ambulance service provider is perfect. Mistakes will be made. Some will lead to overpayments. If the overpayment is attributable to an unintentional error, simply refund it. But sometimes an error that causes overpayment goes undetected for a lengthy period and results in numerous federal health care program overpayments. When that occurs, the U.S. Attorney's Office may perceive the claims to be false claims under the Federal False Claims Act. You may take the chance that that will not happen and choose to refund the overpayments. However, another option is to disclose the matter to the OIG through the OIG's self-disclosure protocol. There are pros and cons to making a self-disclosure. One negative is that the OIG may share your disclosure with the U.S. Attorney's Office and other law enforcement agencies. Also, once you and the OIG settle the matter, the matter of the settlement will be posted on the OIG's website and the settlement agreement can be accessed under the Freedom of Information Act. Additionally, to settle the matter, you will likely be required to pay 1.5 times the amount of the federal health care program overpayments. A significant benefit in making it a self-disclosure self is that if it is accepted, your duty to refund the overpayments within 60 days after identification will be suspended. Also, while there is no guarantee, it is likely that no False Claims Act charges will be filed against you with respect to the overpayments disclosed. False claims charges, if litigated and proven, can result in treble damages and more than $21,000 in civil penalties per false claim. To settle the charges, the government has typically required the party's agreement to pay twice the amount of the charged overpayments. After being accepted into the OIG's program, the OIG will eventually make you a settlement offer. If you accept that offer, the OIG will provide you with a proposed settlement agreement. Historically, a settlement agreement contains an averment that the OIG contends you engaged in conduct for which it may impose civil money penalties and an averment that you do not admit such conduct. In return for your settlement, the OIG will likely release you from payment under the civil money penalties law and permissive exclusion. When you submit a self-disclosure, you are acknowledging a possible violation of law. Doing so is a serious matter. It should never be done without first consulting with an attorney. Thanks for watching.